and cramping. I cannot wait. Move! Ugly piece of shit, you little green bug monster. Move! I'm encumbered now, but before I wasn't. What the fuck? All this other stuff? Oh, all that stuff he added in my pocket. That's why. Yeah. Other me. I love that. Once again, we are triumphant. Okay, so are you mine? Everyone is in mourning. I understand, but I cannot quite share in their emotion. I have seen death. I have lost people I considered close. But this is... It is not the same. I cannot explain why. I am not sure I am making sense. Thank you. If you are free soon, could we talk? I, I am sorry. My head is swimming. This is harder than I expected. Oh. Let's get rid of this poison. Damn spider bugs, whatever they don't call them. So, do I have something to get rid of it? What's this? I got interdimensional rum. Is it cured? Are we want to talk about? I am reminded of. How different constellation works. So, I don't know what to say, but hey, fuck it, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go, let's go home. Let's go off this planet, because... Uh, I'm gonna put stuff in my bin. So... I'm gonna put some stuff in, in the well, storage. Where is my storage? Welcome to Zip, brother. I wish to discuss with you. Give me a second. Suits. Now I'm not using the brown then I'm not using it. Um resources, make me slings again. Oh I got both. They gave me both. Oh. Oh, they gave me both. So both are fun. Oh, this is the one I captured earlier. Let's go. Uh if it's uh the probably thing I can sell this probably. So nice buck. Um let's just take everything and put it on the razor leaf. Cause aluminum going in. Lay right there. Um this can go in there. Uh what else? This can go. Cobalt can go. This can go. I think I messed Bessie. Alright, well, we're gonna sell everything anyway. Okay. Hold on, alright, we're gonna do this. I exit shit like an idiot. Let's go back to the cockpit.
got any? Mm. Stuff in razor blade. What value in it? What value in it? Um I want to use a compound crafting. Like, they're like some good weed right there. Right, let's clear out what we can sell. That way. Guns have more weight. Let's, let's throw away a gun. I don't know. Wait. What else? Packs, so. Two packs, this can be sent to three. Think you need to offload? I don't think what else I can throw away. 500 damage resistance, 500 energy resistance, isn't it? Alien genetic material? I don't think that's gonna be. No. Hey, we gotta keep it in a bad book just in case. Resources. Adhesive can stay. Common. Common. Arkin. Uh, sort main value. Weight. Yes. Trade authorities always buy. He asked, you should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. Sure, how about it? Mm -hmm. mm. And then you go here as well. I'm sure you can find some. So yes, you can sell on my ships. This can go. No, I don't want to restore. I want to. No, I'll go back to sell. And I'll register for it didn't sell. Right. <sighs> register. Now sell. Sell shit for that much? Ugh. I don't know how value. you. Like, 10,000? Ah, that's silly. Like we should. Oh, let me buy it again. I doubt they have ammo I need, but fuck it, I'll just check. No shit, of course I don't have ammo. Alright, let's just go. Let me, since I got upgrade, let me upgrade my oxygen. 
I gotta run challenge. Use up all your oxygen 20 times. Maximize weight living. Alright, good. I don't know what actual meat tastes like. Wow. This is harder than I expected. I am reminded of how different constellation works. What's happening? Ten or more episodes a day. Okay, I'm here. What do I do? Sit. Yes, yeah, sit. I thought maybe I would come up with something to say, but I've got nothing. So instead, I thought I would quote something that gave me comfort a long time ago. Is God real? The more proper question would be, is reality Wait, Do we have to, we have to set this whole thing existence out? Existence itself is a mystery which yearns to be uncovered. What is goodness but a comparison to the good? What is existence but a participation in being? For where the diversity of the universe inspires awe and wonder, it exists only in contrast to a simplicity so pure that it may only be understood as primordial and even divine. Our essence. Okay, bro, you bugging. Like, I was a funeral, but damn, you bugging. But what we consider imagining and what we consider mind are, in fact, so far beyond our understanding that even these metaphors like the tiny white caps on a massive searching sea there's more but those are the parts that speak to me the most where's sam I, um... oh she looked at sam too thank you that was really thoughtful mateo thank you does anyone else want to say anything i'll say something She was more than just the children, she was more present. So it was, I could say if she was here, she would tell us to keep stuff. I'm going to miss her the rest of life, and I don't know about her. I do everything. Thank you. If anyone else wants to say something. All right, we done? Oh, Walter about to speak? Big Walter? I ain't gonna say for too long, Walter, but I'm gonna listen to what you gotta say. I don't often speak about what I believe in. It seems so redundant with how I live. But death is one of those occasions where it's hard. It's kinda of messed up on in her funeral wearing her whole fit. Our friend. That's kinda of fucked up. I'm wearing the whole fit. Gone. There's no afterlife. No second meetings. No God in heaven that is curating. Barry can't take it. 
So it's up to us. We need to get back. Oh, uh, we are what lives on. Dragosis? I, I am sorry. Action, My head is swimming. I think it's on. I don't believe we met. Ajima Mamasa, former chair of Constable. That's the lady she was talking about. I wish the circumstances of my visit were better. Thank you for coming. There's no help circumstances over for you. Sorry if the laws are the best. I've been through a lot. Yes, I'm sure I understand. Unfortunately, this isn't the first Constellation funeral I've been to. After 35 years, you say goodbye to a lot of friends. I hope you don't yes. mind me saying, but I feel numb like just thinking about it. Sarah meant the world to me. She was the future. I knew it as soon as I met her. Oh, yes. I was Sebastian Bench's protege. If that gives you any idea of how long I was part of our little club. Knew him, argued with him, tried to carry on his memory when he vanished. Sebastian will be back tomorrow, we always used to say. <laughs> it reminded us that he was still here, in the bones of this old building. Oh, Sebastian became yes. a starborn. She could make me so angry, or so happy. We used to joke that we were married. <laughs> I bet relationships in Constellation are still messy, aren't they? I'm more of a family than an organization. All the former lines bleed together. It makes the losses sting harder. But I hope it means the time you had together was all the more important. That's how I like to think of it anyway. Exactly the same as when you met her, I bet. Determined. Fearless, with just a small hint of delight on her face when she knew she was winning, eh? My only problem as a mentor was trying to convince her to be more tactful. <laughs> Those old military instincts would always get her in trouble. I was wondering who she was in the back. Like, Who's black lady in the back? Just, I don't know. And I talk, I'm like, she used to run the place. That's cool. Anyway. This is a goal down to the list of things that I know they don't pay attention to. Let me just upgrade everything since I'm here. I have stuff for it, right? What's stopping it? Oh. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go right here. I learned this. This is an unlimited box. I did not know this. That in there for my resources. There's a button for it. Did not know that. So, how much space did I release from my back? I have so much space now. Well, I want to do it. Alright, how the hell am I at? Also, shilling. But. Stuff needs mods. Just to show the EMP showing. Okay. Uh, weapon bench. They should teach you how to make bullets. Can you upgrade the cutter? Alright, what can you use that?
I feel like they make bullets, at least. Like, I'll love to learn how to make bullets. This right here. And let me get this right here. Up. And I'm going to transfer. Well, no, I'm going to put the big gap here. Right there. Then I'm going to. Wait. This right on with that right here. There we go. This is industrial. I don't need to do that. This is this is the other stuff storage crate. It's all her storage crates too. So let's see. Probably don't need that. Don't need that. A deep recon suit. No. 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 All right. I have to check this since the beginning of the game. Yeah, because nothing in it. I already did everything. That's weird. Um, cooking. I never have nothing here I want to actually cook. I can actually cook. I have a bunch of unnecessary food. Food package food. All right, let's see. Can't make nothing. Last time I checked is the research. Food drinks. More fibers. Ain't nothing I can do with these. No cheese, nothing. No cheese, or nothing. Uh, what do we Ah, I see plant. I might throw it through the way. Uh. Okay, so. Let's head back. Twenty-eight. That was a lot. Dang. Okay. Okay. Well, twenty-eight. Uh. So it's social. So social building. Okay. Okay. It does twenty damage. I have to For each resistant helmet, equipped and everything else, companion and crew. Just for you to make five people. I'm good. Right, let's see what mission we got next. Absolute power. Trap neon. Locate a little simple on Earth. I mean, the only thing that are all the skills that you can activate while using your scanners. Hover, cursor over a target, and press A. Okay, that's how you do it. See, thank you for telling me that game, because I would never know how to do it. See, when the game actually tells you stuff, it's good. Going to the moon, y'all. Jump to the moon. Come on, I'm gonna cross it. There you go.
that's pretty. So let's see what's going on with this. Well, Terry, okay, I want to remind the research team to. Well, it's a supercomputer to. Uh, bro. Yeah. Play recurring. Bathroom, shower. Ooh. I should finish that mission because I already have enough toxins in my ship and everything else. I should probably just grab them. God, this is the moon. Just did a 20 feet jump. Uh, oops, let's go with this. Nope, I can't. This? Yes. tools and stuff. So, technically, kind of not really. Yeah, okay. Um, go down here. And, oh, shit. This way. So, I do walk out. So, what the hell? I'm gonna explain this game's tracking thing is annoying.
I love my spaceship. Like, that's interesting. Come on, game. Like some bullshit about to happen, so did you need something? I have been thinking about what we talked about before. The idea of purpose in one's life. We spoke of the difference between having a purpose and having goals. I believed myself right in the moment and Dismissed what you were saying, but thinking more, perhaps I have been arrogant to assume I am right. I have been single-minded in my pursuits. I have always believed the decisions I made were necessary, that there was no other option. I have sacrificed much to be where I am now, and... I'm starting to wonder if it has been worth it. I know. I have told you that I am not one to discuss my past. And yet... No, that is not what I am trying to say. I... promised to provide for my family. That meant working with smugglers to procure supplies we could not acquire any other way. I have spent my adult life away from my home, jumping from one planet to the next, living in dangerous conditions, often surrounded by violence. It certainly influenced the way I see the universe. I was convinced from the beginning that it was unwise to let anyone get too close. I had, maybe not quite friends, but people I cared about. Yet there was always a distance I could not reach across. I often find other people complicated and confusing. It seemed easier to not become attached, especially when circumstances meant I I might never see them again, with no warning. Until now, I have disagreed strongly with that idea, but therein lies my concern. What I am trying to say is that I now wonder whether it has been the right decision to distance myself from others. I appreciate that more than you know. What did you need? I look forward to it. Yep. That's all I really want to ask. So she, she gave me a whole... Well, no, source box. Thank you. Earth, welcome back to Earth, y'all. Ready to go? Let's go to Earth. Oh, Earth gravity, I hate it. Look at this. 
See what happens when you don't recycle people, right? This is what happens when you don't recycle. How's this the only thing that survived the plant's failing? I heard this trick. If you keep moving forward, it doesn't hurt your um, stamina. Especially when you're like, in, like you have too much stuff in your pocket. Yeah, I thought that was really cool. Climb up here. Good over there. Okay, just jump. Perhaps an elevator will allow us to access what lies beneath all this. Temperatures here. Keep an eye on your vitals. I have the best safe suit, you don't. Second one, I think you're gonna go here, right? There it is. These two, anyway, just in case. Mm. Whoever 
Whoever once used this room probably never could have imagined old... Station log. Dr. Judith Tatien. The recent delivery from Mars is unsettling. I was expecting rock samples or maybe fossils of microbial life. Instead, Dr. Victor Isa comes with two members of the military. Everything they've brought back is under wraps. What could a theoretical physicist need with a sample from Mars? Hmm. Good question. Station log. Dr. Judith Tatien. I have been trying to cozy up to Dr. Isa, Victor, to see what is going on. His team has completely commandeered one of the labs with those two military hand refs, checking who comes in and out. I joked that maybe he found a little gray man who was doing an autopsy, and he grew very pale. Two days later, he sends me a request asking for more information on my background in material science, metallurgical engineering. Oh, we have a meeting tomorrow. I... I think I'm being invited into the lab. Okay. Station log. Dr. Judith Satien. I have never been so nervous since I defended my dissertation. Four hours talking to Victor and his team about theoretical metals, atomic bonding, even a half hour divergence into magnetism that I'm pretty sure was to throw me off the trail of what we were actually talking about. Then I got to see the lab. I... I don't know how much I should say. The periodic table just got thrown out the window. It has happened since it was built. Numbers go down, but let's see what's in here first. Oh, nothing. Scientists first predicted the destruction of our beloved Earth. Atmosphere phenomena will cause breathable air to sputter out of our Earth's gravity while wow, dooming all life remaining. Of almost approximately, estimately, yes, approximately 50 years until the end has given the United States and the other space agencies around the world opportunity to migrate humans to from the certain death into stars that. To improve the gravity. Okay, so basically, the Earth's air got ripped out of itself, which I heard is an actual theory to how the Earth could actually end during our lifetime. Don't get anxiety from just saying that. Don't. It's just a theory, but that's this is the possibility of what could happen. Mm. Mm -hmm. well, I'll take it because I want to set, spend it. The Mars rover. All right. Uh, Mars is pretty roll for two or three. Uh, uh. Right, yeah, I was thinking it's at the Smithsonian when I went to DC. Um, I'm here with Zion. Thick fiber. Take that for a fine project. This is another Mars roll versus the 1970. Yes, old one. Space suits. There's a grab engine. Uh, Mercury. Apollo project. It's just, you know, history. But. You know, seating. Uh, 
Though we also argue all the terms of space we had in mind. Walter tried years ago. He made the game again for all the planets. Uh, later. Small outposts of five machine scientists reach a team. Uh, this is how they build the you know the holes that we go into. Okay. Project. Uh, Alright. Mm -hmm. To Jupiter, which is what we just heard about. Okay. Let's go down here now. There's something wrong with the math? I think it's quite straightforward. That's not what I'm asking. We've had no success extracting even a sample of material from the object. No explanation for the gravitational effects. No motion graph to explain its harmonic frequencies. I can't even establish a melting point. Judith. But you had me building these prototype colliders for months. And now you want me to bump helium-3 into it based on this equation you've written on a goddamn napkin? I just need you to trust me. I have been trusting you. We keep slamming our heads against a brick wall, getting nothing. And you keep coming up with something new to try. Like, you know what's going to happen. Where are you getting your information, Victor? I'm sorry, Judith. I... Look, not here, okay? Somewhere off base. I'll tell you everything. But I'm not lying, okay? We're going to discover something important here. I promise. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if yeah, that probably destroyed the Earth. Come on, I'm getting trapped on geometry. I'm not really in here. This facility covered quite a range of disciplines, but I must not have been kind to it. I'm still on the fact that this is a different universe and that it's just identical and we're just going along with everything. As if we did not just wipe out another universe or just lock ourselves. So the other universe is just without me. So are the star ones. What are they gonna do in that universe? Are they gonna just sit there like, oh, okay, oh well? See, so stuff is mad. I have something I wanna get. What? Powers required. Oh, I got the power relay. That's why. Where they at? Right there. Alright, and then what's in here? Uh, chrome mass action component. I'll take it just because. Where I need to upgrade my set.
That's why I sold damage on level 36. That's why. Can't mistake it, let it shoot itself, so let's shoot this one for real. I was already jammed and everything, so I don't matter. I thought I was gonna really ride something. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh -uh. Oh yeah. Star, sure, how you doing now? Open door. What's this? Alright, some more research stuff, so check all badges, access, yes. Uh. Basically, we built the grav engine, which destroyed the planet. That's what I'm getting at right now. Because they most likely ripped, fucked the gravitational pull, which ripped the gas out of the Earth. Um, same way, don't matter. Uh, Must be nearing the artifact if it is here. Oh shit! Not give up now. I'm just go over here. Up, 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 up. Drop, drop, drop.
for that. That's her. How did she get down there? Getting there. All right. So let's go. I was there like, who are these other scientists running around here? I think I went the wrong way. All right, let's go. What? So how the hell did she get over there? Why is this body not lifting because of gravity? That's pretty weird. Yes. Go back where I was at. That's weird. How did she get over there? There we go. Oh, uh, okay, I see. That's what. What? I think I found a secret room, that's why. I don't think that's the way to go. Alright, come on, man, come on. You go low. I probably have to go low and go way up. Yeah. Everything's expert level. There must be some good loot here. There you are. I you asked that. Alright, so let's go. What's over here? Uh, I gotta bring my lockpick in or something. They are popping scientists, that's what they were doing. Please be careful while whenever running the potato and uh, I'm just flying to get the pockets or they'll rob you. I never actually got to visit your labs back when we were working on the craft drive projects. Seems like ancient history now. Only thing we're doing these days is launching weather satellites. Guess this is as good a retirement as any. Now Project Demeter. You want our help manufacturing scanners to better track these new meteorological patterns we're seeing. Our guess is that the poles might be naturally shifting, causing some gravitational fluctuations that are throwing off our old models. Why do you need the scanning tolerances to be so small? What are you trying to find? I... just want to be sure. It's not like we're doing much these days anyway. The glory days are over. Why not give ourselves a challenge before they write us off in the history books? It was not reading? As a request for the atmosphere, astrophysics research team has done full analysis of the data you have provided us. The measurements of the Earth met many sphere shows clear signs of flash from. It's crowded with no, no. I'm sorry, I'm just skimming it, but Okay, some of you today is normal. I know what I'm seeing, Victor. The data coming back from the satellites is very clear. It's the craft drives. All those jumps from the moon. At this rate, Earth's atmosphere is going to start sputtering out into space. Can the drives be fixed? I'm working on some designs that should discreetly solve the problem under the guise of an emergency update to the fueling pumps. 
We're talking about the end of Earth, and you're trying to be subtle about it. Judith, the last thing we need is people losing faith in grab drive technology. That might be our only option. To what? Are you seriously saying we should abandon Earth? The timeline is under 50 years. A blink of an eye for a planet, but more than enough time for a human exodus. And what do we tell people? We say it's an act of God, one that science has found a solution for. Time for humanity to take its place in the stars. You know, didn't you? You lied to me. I... All this time, I dedicated my life to this discovery, Victor. And you knew we were going to kill off our planet? You haven't seen the future I've seen. There's an infinite expanse of promise out there. A meteor could have hit Earth. A plague, another world war. Colonizing other galaxies secures humanity's future for all coming generations, across all time. At the expense of our home. Stop it, both of you. All that matters is building enough ships to get everyone off this planet. And we need to start now. I'll draft up a statement. We'll need to address the entire international community. I'm sorry if I have not been moving text out. Sorry, Judith. There isn't a planet in this universe that will be far enough away from you, Victor. We are never speaking again after this is over. So basically, Victor created the grab engine, which fucked up the entirety of the planet because it was making ripping out the air. Wow, that's crazy. My name is Dr. Victor Isa. And if you're listening to this, then you probably already know the truth. I was young when I first headed the retrieval team of an odd gravitational anomaly on Mars. But I kept what really happened that day hidden from everyone except one other person. Even she didn't believe me at first. But I have no reason to lie to anyone now, so I... I hope you'll accept this confession, whoever you are. When I touched the anomaly, I experienced 12 days of lost time. I met myself. He told me everything that has since come true. The grav drive equations, the tests on the moon, Earth's atmosphere sputtering away because of what we had done. But he also told me about a city thriving on a planet orbiting a distant star. Human culture, art, music, lifestyles evolving and shining brightly across all of space. What price would I be willing to pay for that future? Maybe you don't believe me. Maybe Judith was right and I'm just a coward who wants to believe his mistakes were justified. But everyone has forgotten about the real origins of the grav drive. This artifact from Mars. I hope you make better use of it than I did. Wow, okay. So, our alternate version was so tall. And that's him? Yep, that's him. He killed himself. That's crazy. I would get down the back of the way out. Yeah. Go the back out.
There's an artifact. Mm -hmm. We've arrived on the surface of Earth. Oh shit. Let's discuss what you found. Oh. It looks like other Starborn got here before us. Uh so, shit. Do I have company? Oh fuck. Um Yeah, fuck that. Oh shit. Ah, there we go. Goofy ass that. Huh? Knew it. Are you gonna fight? What's up? What's up? What's up? I blocked that. Enough fun. Tasty. For sure, yeah. Favorite them? Just get more help. Oh, 
this is one of the gravity or something. One of them should. Okay. Can't open the door, door that box would be difficult. So I can't use this. Probably shortcut. Uh, let me go back in downstairs. Go back in here. It's probably a second door that went through. Came down from there. Did we come down here? Here, I take it out. I'll put it in. All right, go. And then, yeah, it seems like this is the only way out. So, how do I get out? Can't be the only way out. Um. There we go. That was right there. I just should put a highlight on that. Matt NASA Matt ESQ. I guess I'll just get some in there. Oh, I do. You already used it. Okay. Let's get out of here.
proceed at that before we are discovered. Give me. Give me. Give me. Mm -mm. Ah, I got a lot of bullets in the ship, I'm just see. Let's see why we left. Earth sucks. The earth is ghetto. I won't leave. Can you beat me up? I'm not in the street. I won't Earth is ghetto. I wanna leave. The earth is ghetto. Can I get a spaceship from y'all? I don't like y'all. I just kill and let me. I got no ammo for nothing. All right. So embassy. Do you understand now why I asked you to come here? The artifacts unlocked the secret of interstellar travel, at the cost of Earth. An easy trade, honestly. Why have one world when you can have all the settled systems? Why well, I have one Earth, you can have five, five. Why well, I have one five, you can have five. <laughs> Every human destiny was the stars. I still don't quite understand what I found. Can you explain? Every grav drive in the settled systems was built on technology that came from an artifact that was discovered on Mars. 
But these early drives shook the gravity field surrounding Earth. Eventually, the atmosphere started to slowly sputter away into space. That's why Earth is uninhabitable. The artifact gave the scientists a greater understanding of time and space, but not the wisdom to see where that would lead. The settled systems wouldn't exist without the artifact, in other words. We owe what happened here in NASA a great debt. That's beyond fucked up. So sacrificing the Earth basically gave everyone space travel. That's kind of messed up, but I... Damn, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> Just thinking about that. I agree with humanity was the stars. Sorry, the Earth one. Assuming we weren't going to lose it anyway. War, disease, famine, all the classics. Don't you see? The power of the artifact forced humanity to the stars. They didn't get to make a choice. How many would have chosen Earth? What gave Victor Isa the right to choose for them? You see the hypocrisy in what the Emissary is saying, right? They don't want to rob people of their free will, but then they steal the artifacts for themselves. In the wrong hands, the power of the artifacts can make anyone a tyrant. That's why we watch over them. The only thing you're watching out for is yourself. Emissary's right, artifacts are... In your hands, you're both wrong. It's time for someone other st store one to make a decision. Because here are the rules of who gets all the artifacts first. That's problematic. The MC is right. I agree with MC is right more, but I don't trust the embassy. Then, of course. It's the embassy? Wow, I'm tired. Uh, The artifact needs to be in the right hands. But who are the right hands? That's the question. Hmm. That's, I gotta really give this thought now. Because, like, one is basically saying survival of the fittest. He's, the hunter's basically saying, you know what, those who can get it first um, are the ones who should be able to use it. But it's like, who who who, who's, who said that they we in the right hands regardless? And the other one's saying, like, you know, it could be you can let's watch over them so they don't end up in the wrong hands. But who said they're the right hands? They're trying to gatekeep. I don't know. I might choose the third choice. Mm. I don't know. I don't trust neither one of them, though, because one, I don't know. Ugh, okay, fuck it. I'm saying no. Don't be a fool. The emissary and I may have our differences, but you do not want to give us a common enemy. You want survival of the fittest, and you want to right. gatekeep don't do this. knowledge. We can collect the final pieces together. I'll get to you on my own. Well, look at that. The emissary just became my new best friend. Bring it, pussies. You've made your choice. When you're ready, the hunter and I will be at the buried temple. That's where we'll settle things. Meaning we'll kill you. But hey, at least we'll wait till you get there. Everyone deserves a shot at the final artifact. I probably made the stupidest mistake in my life, but hey, fuck it. Are you kidding me, game?